Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, let us continue to pray for the whole world and the brothers and sisters affected with COVID-19 during this difficult situation. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I greatly sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, ask bless me, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant me pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may marry to receive the joy of our redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now, those who were scattered because of the persecution that took place over Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch. And they spoke the word to no one except Jews. But among them were some men of Cyprus and Cyrene who on coming to Antioch spoke to the Hellenists proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them and a great number became believers and turned to the Lord. News of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. 
when he came and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced. And he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast devotion, for he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. And a grave, many people were brought to the Lord. Their bandits went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that for an entire year they met with the church and taught a great many people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. The response, Alleluia, Alleluia. On the holy mount stands the city the Lord founded. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Among those who know me, I mention Raha and Babylon, Philistia too, and Tyre with Ethiopia. This one was born there, they say, and Absalom it shall be said, this one and that one were born in it. For the Most High himself will establish it. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord records and as He registers the peoples, this one was born there. Singers and dancers are like saying, All my springs are in you. Alleluia, Alleluia.
the works that I do in my Father's name testify to me. But you do not believe because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than all else. And no one can snatch it out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sins. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Today, today is the fifth day of the month of May. The month of May is dedicated to our Blessed Mother. We are all invited by the Catholic Church, especially during this month to recite the Holy Rosary every day with our family members whenever we have free time. Through the two readings of today, We are invited to be Jesus, the Good Shepherd in our Christian lives. In today's first reading, we have seen that Barnabas he rejoices. Because he sees the grace of God. And Barnabas exhorted the first Christians all to remain faithful to the Lord. By being faithful to the Lord, the first Christians proved themselves that they were always with a good shepherd. In today's gospel, the Jews ask a question to Jesus, how long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus in, in reply says, My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. The Jewish people, it is they who experienced the miracles of Jesus in their society. And finally, it is they who failed to believe in Jesus that he was the Messiah. It is they who failed to acknowledge that he was the Son of God. And they failed to be with Jesus, with the Good Shepherd. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, 
As we are in the difficult situation of COVID-19, let us reflect how far we stay connected with the Good Shepherd Jesus and how far we stay connected with our Catholic Church by praying more, by spending more time with our family members. Let us ask for this grace and participate in this holy Eucharistic celebration. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the wine work of human hands. It will become a spiritual ring. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord set the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for a good good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these pastoral mysteries. So that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to obtain you, O Lord, 
but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before us, before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, O commit past and joy, every land, every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim and say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven the full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are in me holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sapo was in the, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for a variety of substance. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chance of salvation, giving thanks that you have us holy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. That part of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread over the world and bring her to the fullest of charity, to that fancies of hope and Christian ambition and all the clergy. Remember your servants. Philip 
uh, Linda Blaze, whom you are called from this world to yourself. Granted, who are related with your son in the death like us may also be on the team in his resurrection. Lord, in a special way, we pray for the whole world and the brothers and sisters affected with COVID 19. Lord, bless them, touch them, and heal them. Dear Blessed Mother, pray for them. Lord, we also pray for the brothers and sisters who are asked of our prayers. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome down to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the spouse in Joseph, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we be married to be coerced in our life. I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the same is command and form by divine teaching, we have to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be the name, thy kingdom come, thy will be given on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespasses, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our ways, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all the sins, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, O set your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not at the sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, I take the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, I take the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, I take the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be.
The Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so he entered into his glory. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for his eternal gladness to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended, let's all go in the peace of Christ. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, brothers and sisters for watching our YouTube live streaming mass. God bless and have a good day.